Let's add a new material item to this database. First, let's scroll down to 611150. Let's say we want to add another 2x4, standard and better, for 18 feet long. What we want to do now is we want to insert it at 611160. Edit, and we click on Add New Material. Section will be in 61, will be in framing. Okay, we're going to go up to 61. We're going to click on that. Put in 1160. And now what we want to do is put in the item description. Now, if you get lost and you can't remember what the other ones look like, you grab your little window and slide it off to the side so that you can see it. Hit the tab key, move down to your purchase unit to measure. This field is for how you purchase this particular case. So in this case, you've got a 2x4, uh, 18 feet long. And what we want to do is we want to go down through here and find out how we purchase this. So we go LMNOP for piece and put that in. Estimating unit of measure is going to be by the lineal foot. So we come down here, JK, and click on lineal feet and plug that in there. And so we know an 18 foot long 2x4, the conversion multiplier here would be purchase unit of measure on the left divided by the estimating unit of measure, just like the little blue note says there. So it will be 1 over 18, and our conversion factor then would be, and we round up, not down, round up, 0 0.0556. Now, if you click on this plus sign right here, up pops a little calculator. You can use that, and when you use the result, click, and it'll plug it right into that number right there. Now, let's go down and put in the purchase price. Now, you'll notice down there at the bottom of the screen, we have a round field. And a round means if we have four and a half boards, we want to round it up to five. And we want to put in a capital Y in there for yes. We always round our materials up. We hit tab, which puts us on the save key. Click on save and click on close. And we go back and we look right up here. And we have got our... 2x4 SMB for 18 feet long. You can notice on here also, when you're looking at this, um, you see the 2x4 right there? That looks a little out of a line. And one of the things you want to try to do is keep your database nice and neat and clean. So I'm going back in there and I'm going to edit that. And I do that and put my cursor there and I hit my space bar and then I hit save and come back and look at it and close. And I've got a nice looking database, a brand new entry in there, and it's nice and clean as you can see. Keep your database nice and clean. Don't just stuff things in there and let it get out of line because if the numbers and things aren't lined up, it makes it very hard for you to, your eye to follow up and down the columns and find things quickly. And that's part of the discipline you need to do a good job of estimating is keeping your database clean. Let's delete this line item and go back and recreate it in about a third of the time that we did the first time. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight it, go up to edit, click on delete material item, and it'll ask us twice if we want to delete it. And the answer is yes and yes, and it is gone, as you can see. Now, we want to recreate that same line item, but we want to do it much faster, and here's how we do it. We click on 611150. 2x4 SMB for 16 feet long. We go up to edit. We go to clone material item. And lo and behold, there's our 16 footer. But we want to, as you can see, we want to put an 18 footer in there. So we click on 61, confirm that one. And now we change 1150 to 1160. Same number we had before. Hit our tab key, come in and change 16 feet to 18 feet. Tab key piece, lineal foot, and instead of our conversion multiplier being 0 0.0625, we know that it is 0.556, and delete everything else out, tab down, change the purchase price to 9.95, hit our tab key, the round key is already in, we push save, we push close, and voila, here we have it, look right up here, and what did I do? I put in 19 foot, so we get to go back and change it, here we go that save and close and there's our new item just that quick normally you're going to want to add them here in the material list 
and in the assembly list by cloning them. It's much faster, as you've just seen.